To activate the Starlight, first remove the battery panel using a small Phillips screwdriver. Remove the battery isolation tab. Replace the battery, being sure it's seated firmly in the compartment. Now, replace the back panel. Be sure to orient the side with the rubber seal down toward the battery compartment. Be careful not to over tighten the screws and strip out the holes. If desired, depress locking tab about 1 quarter inch. It should spring back to a final depth of 1 8 to 3 16 inches. To install star lights on our wooden posts, first of all we need to take some measurements. Now when you're measuring, make sure that you measure the same height on each post that you want to install a light on. The Starlight has two holes on the back of it to mount it to the post. I'm going to line up the top hole with the mark we made and then drive the screw in to the bottom hole. Now that we've prepped all our star lights, it's time to mount the housing to the post. To make sure that all of the lights are the same height from the top of the railing here, we're going to measure and then mark each post. Now it's time to drill. Since we're drilling into metal, I'm using our metal mounting kit. It's great. It comes with the drill bit and the tap. Now we're ready to tap our hole. I've got my housing and I'm going to mount it into that hole I made and tapped. And I'm going to use the housing as a guide to drill my second hole. <laughs> 